Hey, it's me. And welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, hi, I'm Nay. Here we talk about all things looking good, feeling good, and smelling good. Today we're going to talk about looking good. Okay. <laughs> Products for the month of May that just had me feeling like I look good. You know? So if you're interested in that, let's let's just jump right into it. So I don't, I'm not talking about any clothing here. This is literally just like makeup type products. Um, I just made my face really quick, like uber uber quick. Let me know if you guys want like a quick uh day to day like makeup routine. I just be throwing on makeup sometimes. Other times I'll be taking an hour beating my face. So it just it's, it's, it is what it is. Well. Yeah, these are the products that I reached for a lot in the month of May. So let's start with sunscreen. Where's the other one? I don't even know. I got a sunscreen at Sephora. Isentree sunscreen. That one. That's like 14 bucks. I love that. I think I finished it. And that's why I don't know where it is. Otherwise, it would be literally here. But this one is the next one. And this is not an affordable sunscreen. This is not something I'm going to tell you. Ah, you have to go buy because it's uber expensive and there's tons of, like, there's so many different types of sunscreens out there. This is Supergroup's Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I like that it's SPF 40 plus PA plus plus plus. It's three pluses. I love this stuff. I also, it's clear and it's kind of blurring. So it's just super easy for me to, like, one, I do one, two, one, two, one, one, and bring what's on here down to my neck. And when I rub it in, I just, I like it. It's expensive though. It's 38, it's like 40 bucks for this freaking 1.7 fluid ounce, but it's $38, I believe exactly. But it's, I just really like it. I need a dupe of this to be done by an affordable brand. Uh, it's just hard to find a sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast or sunscreen I don't have to rub in for like five minutes. But that one from Isentree that's 15, 16 bucks. I actually really do like that one. I'm going to buy that one again because I do think I finished it. It was really, really good. Uh, but the unseen sunscreen is great. This is actually right here. The empty. I feel like I might be able to get a little bit more out of it. But it actually lasted a, a decent amount of time. I want to say I had it for like two months and i was using that other one with it like swapping one for the other but i think it, it lasts a decent amount of time especially since i wear spf every day these days this is um another spf this is the abib quick sunstick protection uh bar spf 50 plus pa plus 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 so it has four p uh, pluses this is in korean in the back but it was this is a korean one so what I do when I wear makeup, this is not one that I'm going to say is the best one for reapplying over makeup. It definitely get the makeup on here, but because it is a stick and only I use it, I just do this. And I don't feel like it makes my makeup look so crazy, if that makes any sense. Like, yeah, like my makeup, I end up with makeup on the stick. But it doesn't shift my makeup like crazy. I don't understand how that, like, this is what I use when I'm applying my makeup. So look, like, it's a little bit is on there, but it's never anything super crazy. And I usually have a wipe in my bag or something because I always have my kids almost always with me. So I just wipe it off with the wipe, but I just wiped it off in my hand for now. I'll finish wiping it off later. And then I sit there and I just go like this. I don't have to, but not a ton of my makeup comes up so those are the sunscreens i've been using and not a lot of my makeup comes up i feel like because i've been using the urban decay all nighter setting spray do i really need to waste any of these sprays right now no but i do about four sprays this one's almost done i need to buy another one of this i love this it really makes my makeup last longer i notice a difference the one thing I can say about it, though, it is almost, like, mattifying for on my particular skin. I have slight... I basically have normal skin nowadays, but in cooler weather, it's drier skin. So I do go in with this. This is amazing. I love this. This is the Rare Beauty 
always an optimus 401 mist i like it because it makes me look hydrated right now it's just wet looking it does dry down for sure uh but it still makes me look hydrated it makes me feel hydrated when i reapply it as you can see i've been using quite a bit of it i also extremely love the smell of this this smells so good so i almost use it like a refreshing spray sometimes too and i feel like it refreshes my makeup because i usually bring that with me and then i have like a puff and i always carry a little makeup with me too just in case um and i just do this because i have under eye my under eyes aren't swollen they're uh like fine lined um and it just like new literally it takes me 20 seconds if that maybe 8 10 so i really like that i think it's great those are six sprays uh what's next oh so foundations let's talk foundations i still stand by this sephora's best skin ever foundation this is um a wonderful thing and you don't have to use a bunch of it guys i'm gonna do it in front of you so you're not like oh This is, okay, I am getting a little browner because I've been out in the sun, but look at that. And keep in mind, my face is definitely lighter than my skin because I'm always wearing like a hat, a visor, a sunblock. So while the rest of me is getting a little bit darker, my face is probably not going to get as dark. But look, this is amazing. And if anyone who's curious, what color is that that you're wearing? Because I'm colored, I'm similar to your skin color. This is 53.5N. And they're not playing when they say neutral. This is pretty dang amazing to me. I think this is such a good thing. Uh, the other, I've talked about her before, Dior's Backstage. It's nothing new in 5N. Um, but it's great. 40 bucks. I mean, of course, the Sephora one's cheaper. Look at that. This... I really like this a lot only because I mean I like the okay the sun the foundations I'm matching I like a lot because they just last on my skin I do do a lot in the day so I feel like you know quite a few of the sun uh the foundations kind of wear off on me as the time goes most of them don't wear off crazy but because I see the wearing off I'm like hmm because this lasts long the Sephora one lasts long I'm not gonna say they're dupes they're definitely I mm, no, I definitely wouldn't say it. the Sephora one is definitely much more full coverage. This one is more like it covers, but it's you you have to build it up if you want it to get more. But it covers enough because I've been working a lot on my skin, not working a lot, but just been really thoughtful and mindful of my actual skincare. So I don't ever feel like I have to put on a whole ton of like foundation. I'm not even wearing foundation today. This is just concealer under my eyes and the like you know whatever, but. I love it. I, I really like that. I also really like this Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear. I got this 50% off because this is the old formulation. So I really I got it literally right before they dropped the new formulation. I like this a lot. I don't feel like it smells crazy because it has sunscreen in it. So I'm trying to use it. That's another reason why I use a bit of quite a bit of it in um the May, because I just want to get through it too. But like the coloring is not bad at all. It's actually really good. And it does not get extra like orangey. I would say this one's a little bit more orangey than these. But they still work so well with my skin. So light. Nothing is cakey or um, flaky or goopy or any of that. These ones that I'm talking about is just really good for me. Who's a normal to dry girly. Uh, so... I would look into this. Like I said, this is the old formulation, but I hear the new one is just as good. This is 510 Sue C. Um, I like it. Just be careful of foundations with concealer because, uh, with concealer, with uh, SPF, because they go bad much faster. So if you have a ton of, uh, if you have a ton of foundations that you just be bouncing between, I would be careful. But I used to wear I'm drinking. Here we go. Just trying to get this. Um, but other than that, I do think it's 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 good. It makes me. I don't ever use that and not put SPF on though. I just consider it like extra SPF. And never. Oh, this will be plenty because I don't use enough. I feel like the amount of SPF I be putting on my face is. <laughs> 
10 times more than the amount of foundation I have ever put on my face these days. Um, you can tell I'm using this one actually by how much, like you can see it. So this is darker than me. This is the Naked, Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. This is, I think, I got this off of Sephora like last month or a month and whatever ago. I love this. This is absolutely no small. This is the lightest of them um, in terms of how it feels on my skin. They all feel really light, but this is like air. This is also the darkest of the ones that you're going to see. So you're going to see, as you can see, it's a little darker than my skin tone. And it actually looked even on my face. It, it, it's the contrast is quite a little bit staggering but it melds into your skin very well when i say melt into your skin i don't mean you about to see hella fine lines i mean that it just it's effortless like look it's uh and this is why i got this color because i had one that was maybe just a pinch lighter than me and i could have made it work but i went with a little darker so i can definitely wear it in the summertime this is I don't know if I would say it would last 24 hours because I'm not gonna about to sit down with makeup on my face that long, but I really like this. And none of these have broken me out at all in the month of, of uh, May. I just did all of that and I got to take it off again. I really like this foundation though. These are the, here's the thing about foundation. I feel like uh, more often than not these days they're dropping some really good foundations. And when I want a very minimal coverage, maybe just make me, my face a little darker so it matches more of like my neck uh, and glow. Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Radiant Booster in Deep 7. It's a little darker than my face. And the thing about this is, now, is um you can put it under your makeup over your makeup as your actual foundation it's not this never has ever picked up any of my i'm not swiping as you can see has never picked up any of my makeup just went over a little bit of my blush i'm gonna reapply that but a blush i'm wearing today is actually some of the blush i'm gonna talk about i have a lot of blushes that i like guys i'm in my blush girl era okay it's the blushing bish anyway <laughs> I love this. I think this is a great product. I don't think I'm ever going to even... I haven't even ever tried the Charlotte Tilbury one, like, bought it. But I don't think I need to because it's just... This is amazing and it's so affordable. So I have shade 7, but I also have shade 6. Because uh, this was quite dark for me a month and a half ago. <laughs> now I have shade 6. And I could really even just use either one and it would work just fine for me. Love it. Look at that glow. Oof. Oof. Let's hit on concealers real quick and then we're going to move on to blushes. Sephora. Sephora needs more hype when it comes to their own products, y'all. Or maybe not. I don't want the price to go up too high. This Best Skin Ever concealer is great. I have it in 35N, which may sound really crazy because I was wearing 53. I'm wearing 53.3 for the foundation but i like when my makeup is a little on the brightening side y'all don't put makeup anywhere but remember i'm not wearing any foundation i just want you guys to see most of the time i do patting motions like this you see it's really not it's lighter because i want my eyes to be a little on the brighter side but it's nothing that like i could really use this on my face if i really wanted to and just contour a bit more I just like that brightening effect on my under eye. This is just gold, to be honest to me. It's such a great, look at that. And that just gets a little bit darker and it just melts. And I'm saying that in, on camera, it lets, I feel like you can botch things up and you'll be just fine. In person is where it really matters in terms of I leave your house and I leave my house like this all the time all the time that concealer is amazing I really do like this concealer though this is what I'm using this is what I'm wearing today this is the stay naked quick eat concealer um in 70 nn oh did I tell you what this one this is an 81 wy so 71 nn 70 nn excuse me this is great they're calling this a quickie concealer but I can put on concealer pretty quick um, and I don't like this brush at all. I wish that they had made it so I could twist it and it pops up a little bit more. I don't know. The 
the because the product itself the packaging is so thick when i go to touch my face this is how i apply it and so the plastic is touching my face one that's not a san very sanitary because this is where how i open clothes and be out in the air and all of that crazy stuff and also just it swipes away like oh some of my makeup is coming you know what i mean like it's just not my favorite so i just use either this brush which is the morphe e48 brush i've had this for years and it's just starting to get shaky i've had this for years um or i just got i think i, think I just got the same brush no this is a different brush just kidding this is the morphe m 186 maybe it's just these like fluffy-esque type brushes i also use this for my under eye i just look up like this and just pat 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 and keep pushing those are the type of brushes i like to use for my under eye um so i don't really use this one but i like the actual product the problem with this is if i want to travel anywhere i mean i'm not really going on planes right now i'm off tree painting it on that tree but like next year I intend to go on a vacation with my family, like my extended family. I'm probably not going to bring like something like this because it's just so freaking large. Um, but um, and I wouldn't repurchase it to travel with. But I it says it has. 0.55 fluid ounce. So this is, so much, this is a little more than half of an ounce. What's how much is this? This is. I don't know guys it's not telling me now one thing i can say this off rip is a little more coverage than the quickie concealer but the quickie concealer i feel like personally <sighs> melds they both melt really well into the skin but because this is more full of coverage i don't i beat my face a little more when i use it versus this one like i used this today without foundation and it looks just fine it felt like some weird line of demarcation or i gotta really blend with my um with my bronzer or anything like that anyway let's move on to blushes because i feel like my face needs blush i just took off quite time to have blush guys rare beauty has some of the best blushes i've ever used in my life uh this one is in B grateful this is a very 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 bright red now a lot of people talk about like how you can like botch this up on your face and so on and so forth now if you couldn't tell i am a melanated woman uh so i actually i don't feel like this is overly mel like uh overly pigmented product i feel like this is one of those products that i don't have to keep reapplying like two layers three layers whatever of it and if I use a sponge, I have to apply two to three layers with this. I also, as I told you, I'm in my blush girl era. Like, this is one layer, a blush. And then, I just really like the Rare Beauty. I have a couple of them. This is the next one. This is the About Face Cheek Freak Blush. I love the name of it. And Big O. This is also what was on my face today. This is just a very dark... oh look, they just work so well together on my skin complexion like i get compliments about how pretty my makeup looks when i wear this and as you can see i put on a lot i do go in with a powder and i'm gonna do that in a second real quick because i don't want to to get crazy i'm loving the sephora sephora so when i went and bought for her from the sale it just was a great purchase it's great purchases so this is the for sephora colorful matte uh blushes this is not what i wore today i literally just why are you giving me trouble right now oh because i'm clicking the wrong trying to open up the wrong side right no y'all there we go it's a very it's a bubble gum esque pink for darker skin tone because sometimes a lot of those bubble gum bright 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 blush whitey type pink is giving ashy on my skin color this is like that along the lines of that pink that i can wear and not look crazy the other blush that i've been really liking is this one right here this is tower 28 beach please office hours buildable luminous color for cheeks and lips 
it says on lips i haven't used this really on my lips like that this is a beautiful thing first of all i love the packaging and i'm loving this this is cool you can see i dig it night this is more okay you're gonna see a trend in a second in a in not a second in a minute this is more of like a is this cool tone i don't know maybe like a more cool tony mauvey type of pink i'm loving this these type of colors make more natural like um uh, not as vibrant looks on me right so when i wear this I'll, I'll wear this and this this is um rare beauties one in believe they just work really well together but i really like that and here's tower 28 shine on jelly and sesame this also was the color that works really well on with this i'm not wearing this today what i'm wearing today was this this is the rare beauties um lip oil in delight guys all of these like more neutralized type of colors just work really well with my skin color i feel like it makes me look um it's not as punchy but it's more natural almost like i don't know like there's something about it that's like natural-esque on my skin this is the other the last blush i'm gonna talk about i have so many blushes and i like i like them but these are the ones i've just been using a lot this is the color plop blush and forever yours it's just a pressed powder blush pressed powder blush like i like that it's a pinky It's a very pink type of blush that is not too bright so it doesn't look ashy on my skin let's move on to powders because those were all the blushes yes yes okay this is the house labs bio blurring loose setting powder in deep honey i think there was a moment where i wasn't really sure if i like this but I, like i cut out the little I don't like it. I know a lot of people like like the netting. So like it prevents me from overusing or whatever. Like the reasonings that they have. Which is great. I don't like that netting garbage. So I just I cut it out. And then I go tap tap. Like this. Y'all. Look at that. Blur to the gods. And it cut it to the honey. It's also a little more brightening. Without being ashy. And that's a magical thing. I think this is on par with my Huda Beauty powder. I really like my Huda Beauty powder. The one I have right now is just too dark. I haven't been able to use it for a little while. So hopefully this coming um, warmer weather, it, not hopefully, if I get a little dark, I'll be able to use it. But I need to go get their honey one. Um, I'd love... Guys, this is so cute on me. I, I feel like this is a powder that I, when I want to look dewy, right? Because you can see I look dewy on around my face and all of that, my chin and stuff. But when it comes to my under eye, I don't really want it to be dewy like that. I, and I think having that contrast of dewy to like kind of matte without being like drying matte, flaking matte, is chef's kiss pretty. So, yeah. Let's get into powders now because I have a few powders here. I love this LYS Triple Fix um, Translucent Setting Powder. It's the closest dupe to my Charlotte Tilbury one. My small one is in my purse. That's the one I've been using. I still really like this. I'm pissed it's so much money, but I still really like this. This is in um, 3 Tan. But look, guys, I've hit pan on this. This is, uh, for me, so far, a very close dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury one. And the packaging makes me feel luxe. I feel like... Let me put a little on my chin. I don't want to put any more under my under eyes. Like, it's very pretty. Very much so giving my skin color. Very gorgeous, and I love it. I love it, and the price point is significantly better, and I would definitely repurchase this. I think an LYS stands for love yourself, I think. That's what it stands for, I believe. And I just, I really appreciate that um, a lot, and I have it in Faithful Dark. I don't know if I said that already. Super gorgeous. I am also really liking the number seven, Medium Lift Illuminate Triple Action Press Powder. This is nice. One thing I can say about it that turns me off just a little is that it's getting a little bit bally. 
I'm not gonna put this on my face. I have plenty of powder on my face. I'm about to spray it again. But when I use it, it gets a little ball-esque, but it's not enough that I won't use it. So I do use the powder on this one. I'm just alternating um, because I think this is also a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. Very pretty color and I have it in, I said it already, medium. So I really like that. They all have mirrors in it, which is chef's kiss perfection. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk about... So there's a few uh, palettes I'm going to get into. But the one that hit me the most in the May, um, month of May was the, the Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition in Meraki. This right here. I use this on other people's face when I do their makeup. And I use it on my face. I literally can bring this and a bright palette that I'm going to get into in a sec second. And I can basically do almost every single palette, like um, color scheme that I do on most people than myself. And it's so freaking pigmented. I'm not even playing with y'all. It is ridiculously pigmented. Look. Like, as you can see, I've been digging into it. But it's it's very a neutral-esque type of palette. But the shim... Guys, I just... This is what's on my eye today. They just have... And then the mattes are also so buttery. Like... Do you see that? So this gold one is what I have on my eye today. Literally, that's all that's on my upper eye. And then my inner crease is this brighter champagne-y gold type of color. Okay. And then on my under eye, which I've been doing a lot. Guys, I love this under eye look now. When I don't have too much going on my upper eye is this dark brown. This palette is miraculous. I also like that you can... Hold on. If I pop this out... Here we go. You can pop out the colors and put other colors if you so choose in there, which I thought was kind of cool. That's cool to me. Another palette. I feel like there's a few palettes that I've just been really liking. I really like this matte essential palette from Morphe. It's very warm tone, very pretty, and I just lean towards more warmer tone colors. I also feel like the darker colors in here are actually dark from my skin complexion. A lot of the palettes that include a darker color, the dark colors not very dark but this gets dark that's the second darkest color and this is the darkest color like this is dark without being black per se and then the warm colors are just so pretty the mattes in here are a little powdery in the pan but when they go on my eye they're just gorgeous i think this palette's quite very affordable comes with the mirrors and it's very thin i can definitely travel with this if i so wanted to and then there's two more palettes in here I want to talk about. This is the Moira Endless Moonlight Palette. This is from the Celestial Series. This is freaking amazing. This is so affordable and freaking amazing. This black ego is black. Big black. I use it as eyeliner sometimes. I love Focus. This is a very pretty brown. Because the thing is, on a day-to-day -day basis, look at how close to my skin color without being too close. So you can do a little of the darkening of your inner quarter. Perfect. Away is more closer to my skin color. I love the <laughs> freaking matte thing, like the stamp they put in here. Uh, Modern is this beautiful pink that I've used quite a bit. Oh, look how pretty that pink is. It's so gorgeous. And I really like, like the shimmers in here are also super buttery, like very buttery. And it's like, what? I love this. And it was so affordable. And it has a mirror. Oh, girl, your makeup is cute. Oh, thank you. Ding. Um... This palette is great. I wouldn't per se travel with this palette. It's a very deep palette and very pretty palette. I wouldn't want it to get messed up. But the uh, other palette I want to talk about is from Alter Ego. This is their Coastal palette. The other Alter Ego palette I had in here would work well, but I used this one more this past month. This is the very, I think this is a dupe for Huda Beauty palette. The colors in here are very pretty. So you have some cool tone colors in here. It's more cool tone than um, warm tone, in my opinion. Um... The guys, the, the most important thing for me when I use a palette is it needs to freaking show up on my skin, bro. And I don't want to have to only use certain colors in the palette. 
because then I feel like it's a waste of my time. But this is also really good. The next thing I want to talk about, the uh, let's talk about lashes. This is Elf's Lash and Roll. Great, great lash. Even it's a dupe, but it's just a great lash uh, mascara period my favorite mascara this past month is this one i don't care if that it's expensive this is the um uh what is this called what, what is the name of this brand this is just a black mascara it's a tubing mascara and i'm obsessed thrive markets thrive, thrive cosmetics excuse me tubing mascara in Britain. they're black this is i love this one it doesn't oh uh, like go down under my eye or above my eye or anything once it dries down and two it's the really the wash off for me so it lasts all day for sure but i have a lot of mascaras that basically last all day but the takedown freaking process is disgusting and this makes it take down takedown process is light work with this mascara i literally just be in the shower and i just gently rub my face like this in a circular motion and it just all comes off and like little clumps of black i absolutely adore this i haven't seen any lash crazy loss or anything with this i absolutely adore this one thing i do want to mention is the silver pretty design on that is already fading on it it's kind of an expensive mascara it's very thick heavyweight i love the coloring of this i love the wand on this i think i mean this had its own hype for sure uh it's i have the dupe of it from milani it's definitely a, a, a good mascara but it does actually transfer a, a little bit on me maybe i just need some time to dry down but i've been using the thrive, thrive cosmetics once from unpackaging and never had any issues so it just depends what your money's at where do you want to spend your money on how you feel about it well i'm this is my favorite one so my favorite mascara right now top tier top tier top tier I talked about the lip oil. This is a fave. And then let's talk about my contour. What am I wearing for my bronzer today? This is the Say Sun Melt in. Uh, this is our natural cream bronzer in deep bronze. Y'all, I am obsessed with this. You can see the dent I have placed into this. And it would be deeper. However, I don't need a lot. I got the darkest shade for a reason. Um, because I really don't need a lot of this. Although I could have gone down a shade which i might get for the fall and winter we're gonna see how long this lasts i know that like natural products go bad faster so i want to make sure it's worth my money because it's not that affordable but i love this like come on come it's almost like and this is going to turn some people off vaseline as like there's a little oiled feel to it that just leaves my skin looking healthy not oily healthy and it really contours while it's bronzing up my skin like guys this is this right here i i think it's worth it i i do have an affordable bronzer that's powder i do like that but there's something about this and that almost healthy glow that it just leaves my skin and i put it up here here and sometimes when i do full makeup i'll do all to chisel it down here it's fantabulous anyway that is oh one more thing let's talk about this lip product here and this is the last thing i want to talk about for my face for the month of may when it comes to makeup products um this is fenty's uh la, 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 velvet liquid lipstick in the mvp i've been wearing this a lot y'all i'm gonna go ahead and put this on for you right now it is a beautiful i think like blue undertone red it makes my teeth so white i don't know what rihanna did she put our whole teeth to them our whole foot and her pretty ass face in this uh lipstick here i was not the biggest fan of red lipstick i would try and i would feel like a little girl clown this is beautiful I don't care what anybody says this is so pretty typically i do wear eyeliner with it though but look at my lashes with the thrive cosmetics ah! okay let me stop <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video if you managed to reach the end of this video i mean just go ahead and hit that like button just go ahead and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye bye